I tapped out Hoyler. And immediately I was like miserable at my job. Hello. This is what happens when you beat a grappling legend like uh, Hoyler Gracie. There's no money in jiu-jitsu. There's no 10th planet anywhere in my sights. It was all about the music. A second verse. Right away they said, when are you playing? We want to come check you out. I'm like, oh shit. Everything I ever wanted is right here. <laughs> In the first song, they get up and they walk the fuck out. And uh, meanwhile, I'm doing jiu-jitsu at the same time. I found 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu and instantly, its style just worked for me. 10 years ago, so many people in the jiu-jitsu community were talking shit about 10th Planet. It wasn't legit. There's a reason why I've gotten zero press in Brazil. His system that he created is absolutely brilliant. I was submitting people three times more than I was before. I can control him just long enough. And after Eddie's second match with Hoyler, he got a lot of respect for that. I thought, let me build an empire. Can you put together a jiu-jitsu show that can create the same amount of entertainment value as an MMA show? Tony, Hani, Orchard, Hobby. Making my ideas come to life. Who doesn't want to see two dudes go for the kill? Most of the BJJ community is still resistant. Slowly it's changing. Go! Last one, guys! Last one! Let's go hard! really does make me feel like, you know, I'm a part of evolution. People think I turn my back on jiu-jitsu. That's the biggest misunderstanding ever. I never turned my back to jiu-jitsu. I committed my life to it. From